Hey guys, I'm Mariah. I am just kind of sitting here trying to figure out what needs to be done today. There's always plant chores on the agenda. It's just a matter of figuring out what I want to do and, and when. I think today is the day that I want to deal with some of my water propagations and get them all separated out and into little nursery pots. As it is, I was looking at my Syngonium elbow cuttings and some of the bigger ones. I left multiple nodes when I threw it in the water. And all of the separate nodes have their own roots. So I'm wondering if I could even make these into more plants than I thought. Because right now I just have four individual cuttings so there's those and then I have I have a ton of Cebu blue cuttings that I need to deal with there's so much on the agenda and then I also have philodendron brandons in water that I think are ready to go into some pots so I might just do that today even just saying it out loud made me feel a lot more organized about it so Cebu blue Syngonium Elbow, and Philodendron Brandon. That's on the agenda today. Yesterday was a fun day. I ended up picking up a second um, Amazon Greenhouse on Facebook Marketplace for $40. It's about half the size of this one, but right now I'm just using it for shelving and storage, like the plastic is over on the floor. But it came with two grow lights, so I was able to upgrade the setup in the greenhouse a little bit and utilize the space more. So now this shelf is pretty much all empty and then I got to move the prop box down and then I took half the shelf out on this section so that things on poles aren't forced to be on the top. I think it'll just work better for me to have it this way so that was pretty exciting. Scooped that up for a pretty good price. But these Cebu Blues are pretty rooted. These always root really well in water. I have two little clumps of those. So I just have like these little four inch pots. They don't have much going on in them. So I'm just gonna throw a couple more little sections of Cebu Blue in each of those. I have two of them. And then I'll pot the rest up by themselves. So that is on the agenda for today. I'm glad I got that figured out because I was just kind of sitting here for a while, not doing anything. So, I'm gonna get all set up, and I will be right back. Let me show you what we're working with here. We have the elbow cuttings, the philodendron brandon cuttings, and the Cebu Blues. I'm gonna do the Syngoniums first. Where are my snips? Literally right in front of me. Because I'm gonna be brutal about these Syngonium elbows because they love the cabinet. <sighs> Hold on. I think the heater's gonna turn off in a second, but we'll see. So, sorry if you can hear that. I don't know what to tell you. I'm cold all the time. So, like this one, I think I can split into two. If I just cut right down this main thing right here, 
right here. Okay. This one, this poor little guy doesn't have any roots on him, but he's shooting out a new little growth point. So I think I'm just gonna throw him back in water. This one has one single root and a new, a new growth point. So this one I think I'm just gonna pot up now, which seems a little premature to me, but we're just gonna see how it goes. This one is good to go. This one I could cut one more time. Might as well. Bingo. Two more plants. I'm gonna cut this one too, fuck it. Why not? We're already here. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit in the bottom of each. It's nice because this is a fairly quick process because um, there isn't much thought behind it. Like there aren't many roots. So you kind of just plop it in there and fill it. And then really, because there aren't that many roots, you're not going to have to worry about a ton of air pockets and areas of the root system not being filled with soil and like fully covered because there aren't any. You're literally, you're basically just filling an empty pot and you have a little plant. Like that one's already done. So there's that one. And then you just cross your fingers and hope for the best. It's like the most fun thing ever. <laughs> You just pray to God that all of this works out and that you're not wasting all of your time and money. Two. And it's exciting because I'm now able to utilize so much more space in the greenhouse because of those new lights. And getting everything out of the bottom of the greenhouse, off the bottom shelf, I can utilize the bottom shelf for plants now. So that makes it feel like a whole new world. Four down, two to go. This one is cute. Last one. Ta-da. Six new Syngonium elbow plants that never existed in this world until me. While I'm staring at them, let's just get these out of the way real quick. I'm just going to dig up little, little pieces here. I'm going to use... Wait a second. I, <laughs> I thought this was the funniest thing in the world. I got um, like little fungus gnat traps on Amazon. And it came with a tiny shovel. Okay, dump some of the soil out. Oh, 
probably just like the first few that I pull out, honestly. Just not even going to think about it. One, just to make the pot a little bit more full. See, now these have a lot bigger root systems, so there's a little bit more organizing involved. But I think that looks good. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me use my shovel and add soil back into the pot. <laughs> This is awesome. It is very small, but it works. It's pretty nice. Okay, so now it's a little bit more full. That's perfect. So there's one. And then let me do the same thing to this one. And then the rest are just going to go in their own pots. I don't think this one is as cute as the other one, but it's still better. Okay, so now we have those two. And then... Just to keep everything consistent, I'm going to pot the rest into one or two of these pots, which I think are pretty big, but I have OCD and I want everything to like kind of match, so. Okay. Mindlessly, the rest of them are just going to go in. Oh shoot, there's way more in here than I thought. <laughs> Maybe I'll make three. It's weird because some of them have new growth points, but no roots. Like some of them have a new leaf coming out of the node, but I'm going to do three. Wow. Okay. Okay, Cebu Blue. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of a mess sometimes. Just dump soil all over the top of it. Good plan. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room on the table for plants. I can't wait to put them all in the greenhouse and see what it looks like. More full. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. It's like I dread, I don't dread it, but I prolong doing stuff like this sometimes because I just do. Then it's a lot more work, believe it or not, it is a lot more work to make a video out of things because then it's a lot bigger of a thought process being like, okay, well, is this amount of content worth putting in a video or is it too much content to put in one video? So should I split it into two videos? Should I make it a really long video? And then the whole setup prior 
to the video is a lot and then filming the video is a lot and then editing the video is a lot. You want to know what's going to be a lot is trying to get these out. I looked at it for five seconds and realized, um, hey, this might be a little bit of an issue. Because this, the stem of this bottle is very narrow. Shoot. One out at a time. Okay, one. Easy now. This one looks like it would fit. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Two, and then this one is the big one. And this one has a new growth point on it. I need my handy dandy chopstick. I kept this extra node for a reason. Good thing I did, but bad thing I put it in the wrong vessel. I would really like to get this out without breaking it. One hour later. Come on. Two hours later. <sighs> Three hours later. One eternity later. Got it. I broke the leaf off, but I got it. Ugh. I broke it. But I got this part. It'll recover someday. Okay, well, I have three Brandon cuttings that can just quickly go right in here. And then I'm going to wrap up this video. My chair makes a lot of noise. I really want to get a camera, a vlogging camera. I have a really good DSLR camera and I have an external mic that I could be recording videos on but it's just not a good camera for video. And my computer is really old, so I need to get a new processor for it. So it's a, just kind of a matter of me biting the bullet and spending money on new equipment to up the quality of my videos. But I'm hoping you guys don't mind so much right now because this is me starting at the bottom and i'd like to think that my bottom in this day and age bottom really isn't even that bad so we'll see hopefully in the near future i will have upped my game my video quality game so i apologize this one unfortunately is the only one that is not going to be potted up into soil today. I'm not sure why it's not rooting up super quickly, but I have one, two, th three Brandons, one, two, three, four, five Cebu Blues, one, two, three, four, five, and six variegated Syngonium Aloes. All ready to sell. Obviously, I'm going to allow them to establish a little bit more and, you know, see how the growth goes and keep them in the greenhouse and maintain them and everything. But 
as far as I'm concerned, these are all separate plans that are ready to go. But this was step one, so now I feel a lot better about that. So I'm just going to quick throw these on a tray, take them downstairs to the tub, and water them real quick. And I will be right back. Okay, so I let them drain out in the shower for about an hour or so, and now they are ready to go in the cabinet. This is the most exciting part because I just rearranged this yesterday to make more space, so now that it's going to fill up again, I'm so excited. So officially, the new additions to the greenhouse. One, two three new philodendron brandons and then down here this is the new shelf that i'm able to utilize now and i made it into a half shelf so that the taller ones can be tall i have the three cebu blues and the six syngonium elbows i threw the syngonium cutting back here with my silver sword cuttings that have already rooted pretty well so hopefully all the hormones in that water will spike some roots on that syngonium but it's looking a lot more full than it did this morning so that's exciting <sighs> all right you guys well i'm gonna wrap up this video thanks for watching another plant video. Um, by the looks of this greenhouse, I'm going to have a lot more plant videos to come. So don't be surprised by that. Um, let me know what else you want to see besides plant stuff, because I have a lot of other stuff to do. So leave a comment and stuff like that. And if you want to see anything that I'm up to besides plant stuff, let me know. Um, like and subscribe and all that jazz. I would appreciate it. My hair looks very red. The red is popping back through. I think I'm going to go this whole summer without dyeing my hair. What do we think? See, see what the sun does to it this season. All right, well, thanks for watching again. I appreciate it as always. Let me know what you want to see from me next. Bye.